The goal for every client is a plentiful, speedy collection. That is the expectation with which you will approach every shift, getting our clients in and out and on with their day, all while maintaining our quality protocols. A plentiful, speedy collection makes for happy clients and a productive farm. I'm Kate. I'm Rachel. And I'm Hannah. And this is Feast, Sheath, and Shadow. Is it hot in here or is it just me tuning in to hear these three chatting about fantasy and novels of the spicy variety? Not your average book club if you know what I mean. Are you happy to see us? Or is that a dagger? It's Right, so we read the glorious, glorious book, Morning Glory Milking Farm. Yes. And by, what's the name of the author? Hang on. I don't know. We're like, I don't know. It was I have just no like, idea. I did look up this person because I, <laughs> I wanted to know who is responsible for this. Yeah. <laughs> I did download the other two, too, so. I might give them a read. I'm going to. I started the second one. I can't stop now. Yeah. Who is it? It wasn't showing up on Kindle, so I'm trying to no, Google it, but now that's not loading. If it's fast enough. Oh, here we go. C.M. Nascosta. Nascosta. So who wants to do the, uh, what's this about? <laughs> go ahead, Hannah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just want to say that when I started this book, I was horrified. And I was disgusted, and I was disturbed. And about 30% in, I was in love with the book. <laughs> like, how? How How did this happen? I don't know. How did I, this happen? I think we go with the character, because at the beginning, the, char- the main character is also horrified and She's disgusted. Scared. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So our main character starts out, she's just graduated school. She's being really hard on herself because she's really well educated and also poor and can't meet, meet, make her bills, can't make ends meet. So she's looking for a job. She comes along. She clicks the right ad. Yeah. Comes across the Morning Glory Milking Farm that's hiring. And it's basically a health field. It's basically, yeah, it's she's basically like position. a, um, what are they called? The people that take blood? A phlebotomist. She's kind of like yeah. that. It's a very technical job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At a pharmaceutical company. The ph- yes. Fizzle. Yeah. <laughs> fizzle Pharmaceuticals has learned how to harness the power, the potency of Minotaur semen. <laughs> That's right. And it's magic. Yes. It is magical. And they have these very sterile, transactional bottling facilities. Mm-hmm. Where creatures, humans, all the humanoid animals yeah. in this world. This world is so modern except for the humanoid people. Right. Like, all the different for creatures. All the different very animal humanoid mixes, hybrids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lots of minotaurs, ogres, cyclopses. Goblins. Goblins, mm-hmm. elves, bugs, tieflings. Pretty much anything. Shifters. If it's in Vamps. Vamps. If it's in D and D, it's in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's in a universe that we've read, it's in it's this. It's in this. So she's like, "Is this like sex work? No, <laughs> this isn't sex no, work. Ma'am. No, no, this is phlebotomy. This is clinical. a medical. This is a medical clinical. Yeah. I wear scrubs. I ain't mm-hmm. gotta buy my scrubs. Do not have to buy scrubs. Mm-mm. So she goes to test it out. And it ends up being a really good fit for her. Yeah. She likes the job. She is naturally gifted. Gifted. Yes. At the nurture, soft, gentle touch that, that a clockwise giant motion minotaur dick. manhole. Yeah. Man what do they call them? Manhood. Manhood. Yeah. The Minotaur manhood the Minotaur hood. <laughs> I'm picturing it the same about like the size of a party size 
Pringle can. <laughs> that's probably pretty accurate. You know, yeah, I'm that's, trying to. Yeah, that's a party size Pringle can. Yeah, you know, because it's a little bit taller than a normal Pringle can. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the party definitely size definitely width of a Pringle can. Yeah, yeah. Because she can't fit her hand around it. She got little hands too, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I loved, and I wrote them down, and I might be able to remember them. My favorite, for, well, let me just say, I adored this book. Yeah. My take on this book is it feels surprisingly cozy and yes. like a Hallmark film. It felt like a Hallmark yes. film where the main character's job was collecting Minotaur semen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it read like. And I was shocked by yeah. it. Yeah. So shocked. I was like, this is such a cozy book. About a minotaur. I kind of need to read. Jacking off a bull. A man bull. A man bull. A man bull bull that's like a millionaire with a really great job and wears like really great press suits and has Mm -hmm. a nice watch. Yeah. Yeah. And fluffy hair. Yeah. Yeah. Like I picture him as my favorite types of cows, those long cows. Yeah. Like the the highland cows. Highland, yeah. With the long, cute fucking hair that you can't stand, just so cute. Yeah. But like buff as shit. He's literally like seven feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. Shaped like a triangle. Yeah. With a big old, thick old booty. I mean, it, and then hooves. And hooves. Yeah. See, that's the that's part the t- that it took me out. The I was like, whoa, whoa. The hooves, the hooves were hard. The hooves were He's hard. He's got what? Yeah. The hooves are hard. Oh, that took you out. Oh, okay. I'm All not right. sure. I, I think it's like. This is the line. This is the line. I think, For some reason, it is. It is. Because I'm thinking in my mind, it doesn't matter would, about the face. As long as his body is human. Would it be better than if he had fine. feet? If he'd been all Minotaur and then he had human feet. No. Yes, yes, yes. To me, yes. <laughs> yes? A I think little that'd bit. Be freaky. I, I would have been. I don't know. I just. What about I hands? Just, I just don't Does know. Does he have he hands? hands? Yeah, he yeah, has, he has hands. regular hands. But if he has, but he has, ha- but he has feet. He, but he has like a bull mouth. He that, doesn't see, have lips. He has like the. It, that is, that is, that is somewhat. <laughs> you have to really, for lack of a better word, adjust you got to you got to stretch yeah. your imagination yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got to yeah. stretch your imagination as far as violet's vagina was stretched <laughs> yes thank you filled yes she was filled. very full right full. she <laughs> called it a um she called it a um i'm not a size queen <laughs> she's like i mean i'm not normally a size queen <laughs> i was like oh okay but they Something that I thought I was rereading at the office. That's <laughs> so fun for me <laughs> to just like be reading <laughs> at work. And then people will come over my shoulder to say goodbye. And I like, please don't read the words. <laughs> please don't read the words on my Kindle. <laughs> read what I'm reading. I had please to don't. finish it in the office this afternoon. Yeah. And I was just, I mean, nobody's coming behind my desk. But still, when people walk by and talk to me, I'm like, <laughs> Can you, is like, there an audiobook? I'm pretty sure there's an there's audiobook. Not, there's looked, not. Well, it's not on Audible. There okay. could be one. Sometimes they have access to them. Surprisingly, I couldn't get it on Libby. And um, then I looked. I didn't look on Apple Pod or Pod or Apple's audiobooks. It's called something now different. Mm. I think it's just called like books. I nominate Rachel to create and read the. I'm I'm just thinking, can you imagine getting cast to do this and you get it and you're like, what the f? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, y'all saw my, I asked my mom, hey mom, what do you think this is about? (laughs) It's just so, I I think I enjoyed it so much because it's so absurd. Yes. It is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's delightful. Delightfully absurd. Yeah, Yeah. It's so cozy. Like if it was written about a man and a woman, I mean, you c- couldn't have it at a milking farm, but it would still be just like a little Hallmark book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like something, one of 300 movies you see on Hallmark at Christmas. Mm-hmm. Right. Make this during the holidays and you've got yourself a Hallmark Christmas. Right. They meet at her job. Like he they goes go, to give platelets every day. She, they meet at her job. Yeah. He's a donator. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a charity he's guy. He's a giver. He's a giver. <laughs> and he's just, he's a clock watcher. Yeah. You know, coming in on his lunch. I'm on my lunch break. Just making money 
on the side. Why not? Yeah. And I love how they're like, I'm going to do it every day anyway. I love. Might as well get paid. Right. And I loved the clinical explanation that these animal hybrid people, this mystical minotaur man, they have to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't get an option. It's not like they can just not release. They have to. They have to get it out or they'll build up, Mm -hmm. you know. So and then I love the explanation that, you know, some of these creatures, people, participants in this civilian life go through heats. Yeah. And like they have to be like, can you imagine if you were in heat and like you just your body just I mean, we have I mean, our bodies kind of weird do that when we're ovulating. But yeah, not in like I need it or I'm going to pass out be, yeah be like or suffering in, or i'll be suffering yeah. right mm-hmm. so that was a really interesting take yeah i liked how we got all the way down to he separates the towels that have semen on them because they have to be washed with a special enzyme yes yes, yes. <laughs> and after the she's like oh i tossed those in the i got jizzed on basket and then i tossed those in the i took a shower basket that special enzyme that makes it worth a lot of money to fizzle pharmaceuticals yeah. Same stuff they have to put down the shower sink in yeah. our last chapter. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I need to reread it almost because I was braced for so long for her to like get in trouble for being with the guy that she meets at no, work. No, it's cozy. I really and thought that that was going to be. I was like, oh, no, this I is thought she's going to get fired. No, it didn't she's have to be complicated. Fired. It's a Hallmark movie. I know. Yeah. That's why I need to reread this it. This is just such a knowing. Rachel book. It's so cozy. The stakes are not high. It's just like. A jaunt in the park. Yeah. Is that a right word? With giant dicks. With giant bullcocks. Yes. I know you love that word. Bullcocks. <laughs> I did I, I did have my favorite highlight. Would anybody like to hear my favorite highlight? I would love highlight? to. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she knew how much he came, saw the evidence of his orgasms every week, but nothing had prepared her for being on the receiving end of 24 ounces of his hot milk. <laughs> I just read <laughs> that part. <laughs> It's okay if I gagged while grinning, right? (laughs) She was able to feel it already dripping out of her. The obscene squelch of his erupting cock emphasizing the mess that was being made. Yeah, Yeah, I just read that today in the office. (laughs) I just read that in the car, like right before I came over here. Hot milk. milk. I reread the last chapter and the the time they first. And he is such a respectful gentleman. This is another... Another example of when the male protagonist is just a good dude. A good dude. Yeah. He's a Capricorn. Yeah, he is. How do you know that? Does it say that? Yes. She and I I highlighted it. Um she talks about him being a Capricorn and then Isn't she like a Taurus? She's a Taurus. She's a Taurus. <laughs> She's so excited because I, like, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, represented by the bull. Yeah. Um, and I just love how she's such a a millennial girl. She's like stalking his ex on Facebook and <laughs> yep, checking out their star signs. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she kind of stalks him a little bit. Well, it's such a realistic crush. Yeah, yeah. she's trying it, to I mean, like. It's very similar to how you create a relationship in your mind. Yeah. You know, and the her her friendship with the vampire lady that is was so fun. and the way the restaurant, the vampire restaurant works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So fun. Him liking dessert first. Okay. Yeah. That's not real. <laughs> Where are you at? Where <laughs> is this guitar? He gets to do what he wants. Yeah. yeah. I like all of his swag that he gets from yeah. being like a <laughs> And how he like reps it yeah he's wearing that t-shirt <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah where'd you get that t-shirt he's like well we you... we met and i my i started collecting points <laughs> my points got high <laughs> points. Um, my, my frequent flyer he miles lube, like he gets lube as one of his gifts she's like yeah. oh my god is that from the, mar- the milking farm and he's like yeah it's one of the like top tier gifts or whatever and she's like what and then she gives him tips on how to use it she's like it's thick at first but it gets looser so go ahead and make sure you have enough of it like before you put it believe me i play in this stuff all day every day i i just really thought that was going to be a problem at the beginning of the book i thought there's no way they can have a relationship because he's not he's going to be jealous of her milking all day Mm. or 
And then she can't quit because then who who's going to milk her man? No one's going to milk you know, her man. I just thought there is. was going to be mm-hmm. so many problems. And there's Maybe they not. can get like an at-home milking kit. Right. As the relationship progresses. Oh, you mean so they can just collect it at home? Because like yeah, I'm pretty sure a vagina in. is an at-home milking kit. Well, no, I mean like so he can still make the second income. Ah. Uh, because they get, I think they get a quite a substantial. It's a pretty big. For a gentleman of him, of his <laughs> stature, yeah. of his status. Yeah. To continue to utilize the income from the milking farm. Right. It must be a significant it's amount gotta of money. It's got to be a lot. Yeah. Well, Especially she's going to keep he's working. He's filling up those leaders. He's filling them up. <laughs> well, she's going to keep working part time. So, yeah. She can, he can just wait, go, and she's going to be there. Yeah. Right. I really liked that the connection was instant with her very first client. And she was like, yes. wait, why? She was so confused. She's like, wait, why am I? Why what's am I so turned, turned on, on right, right now? now? Why am I so? What's happening? And then to she's me? like, "Wait, that didn't do that with anybody else. Yeah. Like everyone else was just like." And this is such a. This is you know her moving from the big city to the culturally diverse suburb yeah. where you know, and then the this little talk about how human women move there oftentimes just a fetish 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 size. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, fetish size? Fetish size. That's it? Yeah. Ardalon. Um, <laughs> Ardalon. Ardalon. Akutar. Akutar. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, and there's this, just this whole. I want to live there. It's like yeah. a suburb. It's like Carrie. I North yeah. Carolina. Yes, it's Carrie. Like you can't have signs that are too big. And I also yeah. imagine has to be aesthet- Zootopia. Yeah, and yeah. aesthetically pleasing, but with milking farms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, they said they're like discreet. Like yeah. everybody knows they're there. They're everybody knows people go, but they're not like. Oh yeah, when they don't have a like, giant light yeah, of dick you, with you like a. That- what coffee is, shop is there there's some, one right next to is it is there an equivalent to that in like can we think of a human equivalent like what is something that everybody does but it's not no i don't think no. so no just I mean, like maybe blood like a donate. wax or like blood donation yeah 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 because they use blood to make blood products you don't just like give your whole blood to people yeah yeah that's true yeah mm-hmm well, I think that this book was surprisingly enjoyable. I think it's one of my f- favorites that we've done just because it was so unexpected. And so different. And short. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And quick and just cozy. Yeah. And dirty. And really dirty in a way. You definitely have to, with this one, I don't know if you found yourself doing this, but... I had to find myself like substituting things Mm -hmm. so that I wasn't, it was just, you, I don't know. You just have to to suspend disbelief a little bit. For sure. Kind of a lot. Yeah. Like the first time they get together, he like gets fully seated. And I'm like, if he's the size of a party Pringle can. Like there's no way. That ain't all going in there. You got maybe, maybe four or five inches. Have you ever? Like six if you're a pro. Yeah. But the whole rest of it's just. Yeah. There well, ain't no way. What was the book that we read where the magic changed? Maybe I didn't wait, maybe we didn't read that together. I read a book where the person the male the male's appendage was so large that they used magic to make it fit. That, mm, that no, wasn't we a, did not we, read that together. We didn't read nope. that together. That's I would remember you. that. I would hope. Okay, okay. I'll try and remember what. I would I'll hope. I'll try and remember what book it was. Oh, 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 oh! I know what it was. It was um, it was the De- the Death Walker series. Oh, the Death Walker series. Yeah. Okay. That remember how I told you? I think it's a, a soul to reap or a soul to keep. Oh yes. I, with the where they have like a bone face. Yeah. That is like this. That's funny. But not as cozy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but not, not like cozy. a Hallmark. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, just a couple of na- anatomical things didn't. Well, yeah. then, like, his balls slap her clitoris is, like, one of the things that she's really excited about. And I was like. There's no way. I was like, if he's if got they hang a good down, 
like eight inches that are not going in there. Then and Matt and I were trying to work it out. He was like, maybe it <laughs> wow, hangs low really? and it's the <laughs> Oh, wow, Rach. I mean, I, okay, we're going to have to censor that Whoa. out. No, I'm Not just joking. I'm, like that. Okay, okay. Wow. All right, all right, honey, honey. <laughs> like, when Matt and I were practicing yes. this. <laughs> yeah, we were like, hey, you're really welcome. dry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I mean, let me think. It's, we figured it was the angle of swing. Yeah, it's the pendulum. Yeah. Mm. A nice... <laughs> but that would be a <laughs> really good, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going through. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, yeah. 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 I can That's see fair. it. I can see it. Um, is that what? Is that the only thing? Oh, no. I'm pretty sure she's never interacted with an uncircumcised penis. I don't... That's what I... So I reread that whole part. Well, I just figured it was... A bull thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I reread that whole scene trying to understand what she means when she says she slid her pinky under, under the foreskin, foreskin, which I think she means not in it, but like under it. I don't know. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt because I know what you mean. Like yeah. you can't. You can't get in there. You can't scoot in there. No. Yeah. You can't be like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know? We were talking about this at the restaurant. Oh, my gosh. The just, oh, my God. Oh, my and God. The language story. was hysterical. Yeah. I'm like, I was like, I'm not sure mechanically whether what she's describing is necessarily we are, accurate. Okay. Set the scene. <laughs> set the scene, Rachel. We're at Hannah's daughter's. 10th birthday <laughs> to my right is hannah's ex who i thought was her oh husband God. because she said that's my ex so i thought it was her daughter's dad it was not so i embarrassed myself but it's fine um that's another story yeah, for another for day another day and then rachel and i of course oh and then to rachel's left is her daughter and then to Rachel's right is another child. We don't know. I think it's, it's your nephew. Children. I think it's your nephew. <laughs> One and of we my are exes. So politely having a discussion about this book. <laughs> like not like I don't he could I, I really would do, love to I, know if he I really has hope, a clue. I really hope he was like, what the fuck? fuck are you talking about <laughs> we did so good we were like having a brunch conversation <laughs> about this book it, i was uh, astounded at how easily we could communicate about this book it's amazing and it's... not tune anyone in to what we were actually talking about yeah that's skillful Thank it you. was i was like wow <laughs> it's like here we are this is a, this is who we are now this yeah. is who we are now yeah we were good. We were using respectful language. I, I think I said, I have encountered one of these in the wild. Yeah. And like, this is not accurate. And Kate was like, oh, okay. I was thinking about that too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, have not, they're not really like separate. I haven't experienced that in my life hmm. that I can remember. So there are a few that may have been. <laughs> That I don't have the memory of them that mm. I should. Um, but, yeah, so I wasn't really sure. I mean, I can imagine. That's why I reread it just to see if I could, like, maybe I misinterpreted what she meant. Mm -mm. Well, I just thought that maybe before it gets fully erect, the foreskin is higher up. And then once he gets harder it pulls back but she acts like he's fully hard and it's still up there yeah that's what i that's what i, I mean I it was. can be like it can cover the glands even after it's fully erect do we all do we want to have this conversation uh yes i mean i just don't understand it's fine i would like to be educated and I you would can, like a drawing you would like a drawing can you please can also you please put it okay on Get the so, overhead projector. Check, yeah, bring it. Procure the <laughs> overhead projector. Have you ever been in like the dollar section of the toys and you get that thing that like when you grab one end, it slithers yep. out the other end? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's an uncircumcised penis. Okay. Okay. So it's real slippery. Like you don't need lube. In fact, lube is almost detrimental. Because you can get it in there and it can be bad for it, right? Well, no, because like that sheath of skin moves up and down. Sheath. It's like she said she. Do you guys? Just it's like having a masturbation sleeve. That's wait, what it is. It better for them. Yeah. Doesn't it yeah. make sex more enjoyable? Yes. For them? Yes. 
Yeah, the most of the like nerve endings are in the foreskin. So they're basically reducing their ability to enjoy sex. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the the tra- the like custom of circumcision has is uh, I don't know. I have very strong opinions about circumcision. I do too. So I think it's um, genital mutilation. Me well, too. I was going to say, think about it like this. That we do not talk to – you. they don't have a choice. Well, th- mm-hmm. think about it like this. If if your body is meant to have the sheath so that it can become – Shatter? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no. Okay, but – oh, my gosh, I can't put my words together. It makes it more enjoyable for a man without the less pokiness, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if – I I feel like circumcising men inhibits women's ability to also reach fruition because the way that we're supp- our bodies are supposed to go together, mm-hmm. they don't do that anymore when they're not circumcised because there's so much more friction when they are yeah. circumcised, yeah, or uncircumcised or normal, natural. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it, they don't. It just I feel like. It works better. With and it's them. better for men. Like the glands is supposed to be covered like your eyeball. It's mm-hmm. not supposed to be out. And when you take off the foreskin, the glands is always out. And so it ends up getting like calloused mm-hmm. and less sensitive over time. And that's why like older men have lower sensitivity and can have erectile dysfunction because this thing that was supposed to be protected for its whole life has been just out Getting yeah. cat, it's literally like taking off somebody's eyelid because the inside of the foreskin and the glands they actually produce like a fluid to yeah. like clean the glands off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's another thing when she runs her tongue around it, like that all collects down there. Like if he's not keeping that clean, that can be like I'm sure he is. He's a very put cheese. together man. Yeah, <laughs> dick cheese is exactly what, what it the is. Fuck guys, it has, a, it has a name. Do you want to know the name? <laughs> Smegma. Oh, that's I, I've heard of. Yeah, smegma. that's what smegma is. Is oh. like the it's like a like your eye booger in the corner of your eye, but it gets caught around the bottom of the the glands but in the sheath. Yeah, and they have to like pull it back and clean it. Right. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. He's a very clean. He's bowl. a very clean bull. Yeah, he's very conscientious. I'm sure he keeps it clean, but yeah. still would not stick my tongue in there. I, mean, I would not. <laughs> yeah, Kate would. I did not say that. <laughs> this is not that show, Hannah. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Well, yeah. I was just thinking. I mean, proper hygiene is important for everybody. I mean, the she wipes gives it, more care. She cleans it every time. She does. You know? Yeah. Sterile environment is important to a sterile collection. Yeah. Yep. Wait, what's the theme of the book? <laughs> what's the theme of the book? They say it a few uh, times. It's in the last chapter. I wrote it down and I forgot my notes. Is it so, a speedy collection? No, oh. it's um anything it's, uh, worth doing is worth doing well. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she realizes that, you know, I love the elaborate descriptions of the like hand job that she gives this guy where it's like and then I held my hands around like this and then I ran my yes. hands up and down yes. and then I did this yes. then reverse the motion counterclockwise it is. in a circle 8. Yeah. And it's like it is very instructional and transactional. Yeah. You know, she's really thinking about it step by step because she wants to do anything worth doing is worth doing well. What did they call that intern or that trainee that wasn't very good? <laughs> stiff. Stiff hand Sally. Stiff or hand Sally. Or something like that. <laughs> he was like, I got chafed. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, so what were the different kinds of clientele? There was the clock washers. Clock washers. Yeah. The um, pop and goes. Pop and goes. Pop and goes who would strut in with all this swagger and then whoop, whoop, real quick. Yeah. And like have to leave. And the um, earners. <laughs> The and good the, little cows. The good little cows. <laughs> talk to me like I'm a good little cow. <laughs> Which, speaking of talk, I did not like the way he talked to her towards the end. Like, really? Ugh. It was too much for you. Oh, was it too emotional? Language. Was it, was it too the emotional? the sweetheart. Oh, was oh it that it's because one? he was kind? Oh. Oh, I thought it was the like. <laughs> was it because he was kind? To maybe. Her? Yeah. Maybe that was it, actually. <laughs> And he's like, Whatever, what do you want, sweetheart? I was like, ew, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the other one. The, oh, no, I'm going to, like, 
I worship you and like that the part where he was like I'm going to take care of your little pussy and mm-hmm. I was just like okay well I don't want the dirty that, that's too you much You don't like dirty talk. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that So that's really funny because that is like how dirty talk looks in real life. Yeah. In, yeah. I'm not and I don't like it. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> To each their own. Yep. To each their own. I didn't know that bodily fluid kink was a kink until I read this book. I guess I should have figured that. And now I know because her second book is Guess What It's About. What? Well, I don't, we haven't gotten far enough. Is it about we've pee-pee? Had a lot is it of, about pee-pee? I don't know, but we've had a lot of juices up until maybe like 30% where I'm at. Mm, I don't think I can. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. My mind is fully open now because when I started reading this book, mm-hmm. I thought there's no way oh, in hell I, I will like this book. Wait for you to read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already read the second. One. Yeah, the second <laughs> one we are reading the Necromancer's Bride. After that, and it is I don't want to say anything about it. No, right? don't, Hannah, don't, just, don't tell don't. me don't. anything. It's, okay, it's short. It's a it's a nighttime. It's just a quick read. Oh, mm-hmm. great! Like you could polish it off tonight if you needed to. Yeah. It's really different as well, but interesting. And, you know, so fun. I thought it was interesting. She talked about the property values in Cambert Creek. She's like, you think it'd be cheap to live here, but like everybody wants to come here. So it's really hard to get in. Mm -hmm. And like the one lady lives in a house where she has to use a step stool for everything because it's built for minotaurs. But she's like, it was the only thing on the market. I want to make sure I got in. (laughs) Yeah. This book is so real life with the exception of these. (laughs) everything people yeah did you read the snippet at the end that's from his point of view i no, no. what that, i didn't have that as i, a, I mean i just oh. finished the book I don't as i was as pulling up if you kept going past the like yeah. last couple of pages there's yeah. a like when it's his first visit but from his point of view what oh, oh my God. i cannot wait it? to read that and he they go into the waiting room and it's like turf and there's a barn and there's a sky painted on the ceiling and he's like the <laughs> fuck is this <laughs> wait, and then he goes that. we are descended from gods i don't have you don't have that i don't think so oh i, I have it. is that by a blue ribbon romance yeah that's it that's what it is oh I was wondering what that was. Oh, that's his perspective? My, that's yeah. not another book? My Mm-mm. Kindle is dying. That's not the beginning of another book? No. Oh, because his name is Rourke, which yeah. I really wanted to talk about because Rourke. Rourke is one of my favorite names because, but do you know where I know Rourke from? Uh, no. Rach. No. Where's the only other place that Rourke is? It's in the Fountainhead. The main character in the Fountainhead. Yeah. His name is Rourke. And that's the only other time I've heard that. In fact, one time... I was delivering, no, I I worked at this restaurant, and this guy popped up, and he was like, I was like, what's your name? He was like, Rourke. And I was like, where did your parents get that name? He goes, from a book. And I was like, The Fountainhead (laughs) by Ayn Rand. (laughs) (laughs) And he was like, yeah, that is where it is from. And I was like, yeah, I've read that. I read that. Yeah, the Blue Ribbon Romance is from his point of view. Oh, I should read that. It's when he arrives. Oh, cannot wait. I'm sad I haven't read it. Is it his perspective of meeting her? Oh, look um, it. it goes up until he's... <laughs> his little hair. Yeah, his little hair. His little, like, it flops in his face. He's so cute. <laughs> he's such an emo, emo <laughs> masculine Did cow. we have to call it the breeding bench, though? That was hard for me each time. She was like, then he lined up on the breeding bench. Yeah, I, I thought that was different, too, because at no point is it breeding. Yeah. Did you catch that his grandma was a human? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. I was like, oh, they could have a baby. I was like, please don't get pregnant. In this book. Can you imagine? I really oh, thought I that know. was going to happen. Was, too. happen. I was so like, please don't. Please Can don't you get imagine s- the condom for that? There, you couldn't because it would just like a glad trash bag. <laughs> it would just come out the. <laughs> I don't think condom would be effective. The best way to. Well, I guess if you're trying to pre- pre- prevent diseases and not necessarily pregnancy. Yeah. I'm sure Fizzle has created some sort of birth control. I don't that know. men take. Yeah, that men take. Mm-hmm. I like how she gets him. She just doesn't wear underwear. Her friend's like, she's like, I can't get him to like, you know, go farther. She's like, don't wear underwear. Yeah. Go Canada. And it worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. He was such a gentleman. He didn't want her. He was like, you work. I mean, he's he's like, you work in sex. You work at the, the, the clinic. 
the clinic. So he didn't want to make things about that. Yeah. He wanted to actually like woo her. He wanted to make sure. Like, moo her. <laughs> what is he? What? No, God. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he said, I I'm wanted sorry. to make sure you knew I was attracted to you and not your perfect tiny little hands, <laughs> is what he said. Perfect tiny little pinkies. Your little pinkies. Because he's like, you give a great hand job. I didn't want you to think I was just with you because you'd give a great hand job. And she's like, but I also give a great hand job. And he's like, yes, you also do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I like their um, faded mate energy. <laughs> yeah. It is very, because as soon as they meet, they're both like, oh, okay. Yeah. They yeah. are both accidentally in love. In love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in love instantly. And then he lows when he, yeah. ha- yes, when yeah. he's giving his uh, 24 ounces. And I was like, what would, it's just the like cow sound. The, what like, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine living in that neighborhood. <laughs> wait. No, not wait, doing it again. Wait, wait. Let me see if I have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what is it like a manly version of it? Like a growl. Yeah. No, it's not like a growl. It's like a mm. bull. Like the, the bull. Let's see if I can find a bull sound. Yeah. Sound, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it in the front of my mouth and no. like not it be guttural. Let's see, hang on. Yeah, play this. <laughs> see, it's exactly the sound I just made. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Would you Google so fast? Would you Google? I just Google bo- bo- bowl mooing, like bowl lowing. <laughs> what do you think of morning glory milking for goat farm sex sounds? sounds. <laughs> Minotaur sex sounds. <laughs> Can you imagine if they did an audiobook and they inserted that and they're just like. <laughs> yeah. Well, or, the, or the narrator had to. Use that in the resume to get the role. Yeah. <laughs> but it had to be like a, w- a woman doing it yeah. as a man. They'd sound just like us. Oh, God. That's I did. Yeah. Funny. That's so funny. Yeah. But yeah, it was really a story about, you know, a um, learning that you don't have to live in the big city. You can head out to the suburbs and yeah. really find a really great job. And immerse find yourself. diversity. Yeah. And cultural diversity and. Go to the vampire. What do you think of the vampires? Rachel, you're a huge vampire fan. Well, we did. Did we go to the bar? Did we go to their bar? It doesn't even. I think they go to the restaurant. It. Yeah, yeah, but it, we don't. We're not there for that. Right, we're not there for that. It's just oh. like they're out on a date. Oh, I didn't. I thought it was funny that her friend was like Cockney, and so she had like Cockney turns of phrases. Like she had like little Cockney accents. No, it wasn't even the accent. It was um, idioms oh. that she kept using. She like, said, do I need to eat my neighbor? I think that's because she wanted her to move in there. Yeah. I, that was in the last chapter. I was uh, like, what is that I was speed reading through that, but I think it had to do with her Needing interview. A, yeah. Interviewing for that job. Mm-hmm. Right, because she gets a job. So she gets like a, a great job. Like that the is dream good, job. And where she doesn't, yeah. you know, she doesn't, it's a choice for her to be a milker at this right. point. Yep. Yeah. She still likes it, so she's going to pick up a couple shifts a week. I mean, she's really good at it. She yeah. is, and she gets big tips. Do what you yeah. love. I mean, you pay the bills. Yeah. Pay the bills, girl. It is not easy to pay the bills, so mm-hmm. pay those bills. Yeah. Have spending money. Pay off the I love, old debt. Oh, my God. It was such... This is how I knew that nothing... The stakes were going to be low the entire book. <laughs> because when she started to have... You know, she was solvent... When she could start to see solvency in the future, she started looking at home decor and luxury ingredients for yeah. recipes. Vegetables. Like, look, I mean, been I'm there. Get some yeah. Portobello mushrooms. Girl. Like, that's what I'm trying to do on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to shop at the Whole Foods, you yes. know, not the Food Lion. So <laughs> I just, I was like, oh, this is going to be cozy the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. I like the coffee shop run by the like sheep people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. they have 
Where did she get a honey latte? That sounded yeah, really good, it did actually. Sound really, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, honey latte sounds pretty yeah, good. Yeah. And there's two places, and the one she gets like diatomaceous earth. And the yeah. guy's like, oh, no, not that one. Don't go there. You want to go to the weird. other one. Can people eat diatomaceous earth? I mean, it's in your toothpaste. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's what they use for the abrasive in your toothpaste. That makes sense. Hmm. It's Isn't fine. diatomaceous earth just crushed shells? It's the like uh, microscopic bodies of little sea creatures. Yeah, but don't you put it like in their your exoskeleton? Dog, don't you put it in your dog's ears? I mean, you can because it will. If you have, they have mites, it would kill the mites. Yeah, kill the mites. Yeah, it's kill a natural insecticide. Yeah, I bet the bulls do that in their fluffy hair. Um, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he takes a shower. And they're every filthy day. Yeah, he ears. Is. He gets that schmegma out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were about to clog the drain. Oh my god! Oh. Right, twenty four oh. ounces. I mean, that would be an issue. That's a you lot. imagine if you were a plumber, Ugh. or like a world, or, no. or like a landlord, like and a landlord. You're a landlord, yeah. and you had to constantly deal with bull semen <laughs> clogging. Up when I the was drains. reading this, I happened to have a water bottle that was twenty four ounces, and I was just like. Every time I got to that part, I was like, ugh, because it was the whole amount of what yeah. was in my hand. Yeah. It's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 And at one point, he gives more because she fills up one bottle and then she, she like get the next tickles bottle. his prostate and he gives like part of another bottle. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she milks his testicles. I thought that was really funny. She went that extra mile. She's she like, sure did. She's if like, you're gonna, gonna go do for this. something, if something's worth doing, you do it it's right. It's worth doing, doing well. well. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> just like my mama always said. Yeah, this one was. <laughs> it's just I don't the auth, kudos to the author for maintaining this like hallmark feel while having long descriptive sections where we yeah. talk about. Just in detail. like Some of her fantasies, you know, like she yeah. would go off in her head thinking about what she wanted to do to him. My jaw would be on the floor. I was like, oh, my God, girl. <laughs> oh my God. It's so imaginative. <laughs> yeah. oh, crazy. She's like, if he smiled at me right now, I'd drop down on all fours. It's like, oh, okay. Face first, mouth open. <laughs> She says that. She does? Yeah. Yes. Wow, wow. Yeah, wow. although she mentions that she tried doing that and it made her gag and he couldn't. He and was like, he, he was like, gagging. Stop. He was like, stop, stop. I can't handle the gagging. Yeah. So she had to come up that with an alternative method. Part. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Yeah. He because... said, you gag, I gag. <laughs> <laughs> and she really didn't use a lot of the like manhood, you know, the weird romancy language it was like Cock this is the yeah. vein on his shaft these are his balls this mm -hmm. is his yeah it was very yeah it was very down to earth yeah mm -hmm. like a capricorn or a taurus would write <laughs> yeah it wasn't bullshit florally yeah. bullshit <laughs> oh god sorry <laughs> does he have a bigger than normal toilet I mean, yeah, he'd have to. Does she? Does yeah. she need one of those like inserts you get for kids uh -huh. that makes it small enough you don't fall in? Yeah, she does. Like the potty training seats, mm -hmm, like the potty training seats. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually not that much different than the aliens in Planet Ice Planet. That's true. It, it, I, it, I was wondering. I I do I do I am challenged by the non. The non-human faces sometimes. Mm. Yes. I think making out with a bull would be yep. challenging. I d we'd have to be in love first. <laughs> <laughs> you need some force pro for I would need some force proximity yeah. to get there. Yeah. You need a little we bit of to I be just, in love. I just think I need force proximity in general. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why I can't do the apps. Yeah. 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 Because I, I'm never going to, like, decide to like somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but it's fine. Mm. I think that's just everybody's different. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a I have friends that do really well and can like continuously go out with people on the apps. That is beyond me. Me too. That is beyond I my understanding. It. Me too. I can't. I don't. I don't want it to be. 
I don't want us to both show up with the intention of potentially liking each other. Yeah. Meeting somebody with the intention of meeting romantically without having met you in real life first would be terrifying. It's just it is. And it's yeah. not fun. No. It's so upsetting to me. It it's not I don't know how I don't know how people do it, to be honest. And like know. kudos to everyone who does it. Like, good job. I'm proud of you. Keep fighting the good fight. I cannot do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We went out. Be alone forever. It's fine. When we we went out when we were in Toronto and we were sitting at this table and right next to us was this couple who was obviously on like a first date. Mm-hmm. And it was the most entertaining thing I think I've ever sat next really? to. Really, the guy talked for like forty five minutes. Did he ask her any oh. questions? And then finally he paused. And he was like, "You're not talking." She's like, "You haven't stopped." <gasps> she said that. <laughs> oh yes. my god, I love. Did you laugh? Uh, no, I was just like. <laughs> And then he goes, okay, well, why don't you tell me some of your red flags in a relationship? Oh. And I was like, abort, abort. (laughs) Walk away, walk away. Red flag, red flag, red flag. You know what you should have done? I (laughs) tap on the table and be like, ask her some questions. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. If Kate had been there, she'd be like, (laughs) ask her, leave him a note. Ask her some fucking questions. Ask her a personal question. Yeah, ask her some real questions, you dumbass. Don't just sit there and talk about how interesting your boring life is. It was hysterical. And then we were all texting each other at the table. This is why I can't. I can't. I get really frustrated. Yeah. And I'm trying to be better and more open-minded, but it's hard. So hard. It is. Yeah. And it's like the moment and what's wild is like you will if you meet somebody organically and you feel a little bit of a spark, it's so much easier to run with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, because then you have time to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. Get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then if you live here, where I live, and I also, you're never going to meet anyone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, it would be hard. Yeah. There we I parked at the library the other day and there was another car that had a whole bunch of nerdy bumper stickers and I was like, do I camp out by this car and wait for them to come out yeah. and be like, I think we should probably be friends. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Leave a note under the windshield. I didn't mm-hmm. hit your car or anything, but I thought your car looked cool. We should probably be friends. Yeah. 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 And it's your the stickers, same thing with friendship as your, with trying to find your, a romantic partner. Your yeah. stickers are like my stickers. Or <laughs> sticker simpatico. I felt platonic <laughs> love at first sight when I saw Hannah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, well, really did. I did. I like, did. Well, because she came, it was organic. She came into the office and she was, she had a really cute, like, cute dress on. And I just looked at her and I was like, I like your shoes <laughs> or something and like, like that. My grin, like, <laughs> Yeah, like compliment like, we me. Should be heterosexual life. Mates. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> if you compliment me, well, I love and I you. Just, mm. I, I don't know. I was just like, oh, hello. Like the no, she looked me <laughs> up and down and then grinned and then I grinned and I was like, <laughs> oh, this yes. is gonna work. Hello, this is gonna work. <laughs> hello, Hannah. I'm Kate <laughs> and I'm your new friend. <laughs> What's your birthday? <laughs> And then once we matched well, up our star charts, especially at, especially at the at the at the office, yeah, right. Because I love everybody that I work with, you know, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You like different stuff, yeah. You can like a person as a friend, but you don't like the same stuff, yeah. Well, yeah. and like I remember Rachel the first time when I came over here, I was a little bit intimidated by you at first. <laughs> You're um, not alone. I know it's okay. I mean, not intimidated. <laughs> I just didn't know it's how to. F- co- I didn't know how to connect. <laughs> no, it isn't. I just didn't know how to connect. Mm-hmm. Right, because we met through mutuals, and you know, y'all had mom stuff, and I didn't know. I didn't know who you were. Right. But then when I came over here, and I brought, I was like watching the kids, and I brought them over here, and then you, we started talking about books. I was like. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> and I was like, you want to be on the podcast? And, and you're like, like yes! yes! Oh, my God. Yeah. Magical <laughs> moment. That, that was like magical. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm glad we talked about that. You That's two fun. are like hidden gems. Thank you. I mean, I think they're out there. I think it just takes a lot of work. It does. And it's easier to rifle through friends because there's so much less investment. Yeah. But then when you... 
when you have to put the same amount of like rifling into someone you're prospective going to be with, like physically and maybe life wise, that's so much more. Cause and it's also, like, also, it's not hot, you know? No. It's not arousing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you notice in this book he could smell her arousal? No. Yeah, she says it a couple times. Well, she says she he hopes she hopes he can't because she said she leaves a snail trail every time <laughs> he leaves. Oh my god, snail that's trail. so funny. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna change my scrubs and my underwear. <laughs> oh wow, that's really funny. <laughs> so many wet panties. So wet. So much moisture. So much Mo- moisture. <laughs> Moist. So much moisture. Everywhere. Everyone's just all over. God. Very dripping. slippery. It's just like the, <laughs> dripping. It's, it's, the cleanups sound exhausted, exhausting. I was really excited for her that she didn't have to do the cleanups. Yeah, that's how I was mm-hmm. like, you just leave? There's great. a janitorial staff. And they just yeah. switch rooms mm-hmm. and let people clean. That's yeah, she great. really just took room care of room. all the stuff and required honestly, to keep it cozy. <laughs> honestly, I'm not going to bullshit you. <laughs> I would do that job. <laughs> It wouldn't be that horrible know, job. Yeah. No. It would be a great job. If it the paid benefits well. are excellent. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. the hours are excellent. You know, it's transactional. Tips. Everybody works together. There's really motivation well. to be good mm-hmm. at your job. Yeah. You know, yep. it's it's just a medical field that I could see myself doing. It yeah. allows for That's just enough creativity. Fair. Yeah, just you know? enough yeah. ways to express yourself. <laughs> Yeah, and, and others. others really connect via this one Bane. working way. <laughs> yeah, one yeah. makes hand gesture. I way. would probably <laughs> gl- g- if you imagine the. Did you guys imagine them like a surgical room? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're like, right? Yeah. It's like with the bed. Yeah. And, and like, she says they're a full like floor, uh, like high, mm-hmm. like, like when little stairs like that a, go up. In, yeah, in a medical show, when the surgery of watching, mm-hmm. yeah, but, but like the bed's not. up top and they come down, yeah, and they're underneath. So I don't understand. Did he see her? Could he see her? No, not really. Like, I think he, he could just, see like, the top of he her just, head. Maybe yeah. it was just her gentleness and her energy yeah. coming through her small her hand, perfect tiny little hands, hands and the yeah. way she <laughs> nurtured his. You know that Burger King commercial? <laughs> no, <laughs> which one? It's like, Hold my Whopper, and he's like, well, I have these tiny hands, and his hands are like little. I don't remember that. <laughs> it's really good. I'll have you to can watch look it, it up. Later. That's what yeah. I was thinking the whole time. I think it was just like <laughs> the, I don't know, because she says as soon as he she started working there, he started racking up points. Yeah. So he 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 immediately felt like yeah, but they don't do that. Oh, you you guys didn't read the Blue Ribbon special. They don't do that at the other places. At the other places, they just hook them up to the suction machine. Oh, so the yeah. revolutionary thing about Morning Glory milking farms is that they the provide personal the personal touch. touch. Oh. Personal and touch. they don't all have ribs, like ribbed silicone inside the milking machine either. Oh. So yeah. it's really the best place to go. It's like the Cadillac your, of milking is. farms. It's, it really is. Yeah. It really it's where is. I would go if yes. I were a Minotaur. Hospitality yeah. forward. And they're all complaining. <laughs> they're like, well, it's going to take longer if they do Customer that. Customer care. Yep, customer care. Well, in the care. in the blue ribbon special, the one character is like, "But what if it takes longer, like, or they're not good at it, or whatever?" And she's like, "Listen, how many times have you gone to the milking farm and then had to go home and masturbate yourself? Forty five minutes later, that's not going to happen here. We will milk you dry." Wow! <laughs> yes! Wow! That dry. is a claim to fame. And I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you." Well, I think you have morning glories in your front yard. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. I was walking well back. I was like, I'm pretty sure that purple flower right there is a morning glory. Um, we probably do. Yeah. I think I'm going to plant some. I wanted to pick it and bring it in. And then just think but then about I it just, every time you walk by. I just stopped and looked at it for a second and then clop poppered back in here with my <laughs> yeah. giant ass wooden shoes. Yeah. I love them. I put these, on, I put these on the Kindle because I downloaded all three. And Matt saw moon blooded, <laughs> um, like... <laughs> Something clinic. It's like moon blooded something clinic, and he was What's like, "What's that about?" He was moon like, blood? "What is this? <laughs> what is <laughs> this? Like, what is on the Kindle? Because we share a library. Yeah. yeah. So anything I put on there, he can see." And he was like, "Do I want to know?" And I was like, "Probably not. 
Probably mm-hmm. not. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I ended up reading them the parts I thought were really funny. So <laughs> Yeah. I I had to call some past – oh, I called one par- past partner and was just like, oh, my God, listen to this book. This is the, this is the funniest book that I've read. <laughs> <laughs> this one is so funny. I really wanted to share this with someone, and I'm glad I'm sharing it with you too. Yeah. Yeah. This has been good. Because I couldn't have read this and kept it to myself. No, it's hilarious. I don't. I think I would have. I don't know that I would have read it if we weren't reading it for the podcast. Not because I, I would have just been like, I, don't I know. might have. Wasn't this your suggestion? I just looked up a list. Oh, of okay. Like cozy I, I monster had books. Okay. seen it on um, a couple lists on the talk. It has very good reviews. Yeah, on because Goodreads. it's it, should. it feels so like good. Leg- have you read Legends and Lattes? Not yet. Okay, well, that's the most Rachel book that's ever existed. So, <laughs> okay. um, go ahead and I get need on you that. to reach over there. It and is reach that. It book. is the. It's like playing Animal Crossing. It's okay. the coziest thing ever. It's great, but this feels like Legends and Lattes, but with women ja- with pe- people hand jacking jobs? off minotaurs. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but with minotaur hand jobs. Yeah. Which is okay. crazy. <laughs> if you think it about it too crazy. hard, you're like it weirds you out. It does. You know? It does. To, you just it, have to be like, like oh, that was a, like okay. I was kind of squinting a little bit while I was reading. Like, yeah, <laughs> like that changes things. Yeah, it did. <laughs> when they're bucking against the bench, and she's like, "Oh, they're close," and she just like, <laughs> whatever pulls his, them off, it pulls out all over Mister Slurpee. Yeah, his let me get Mister Slurpee for you. <laughs> That's what we call the thing of the dentist, Mister Slurpee. <laughs> Let me grab Mr. Slurpee really fast. Oh, great. <laughs> like the sounds. She She's described the sounds yeah. a lot. Yeah. A squelching. Yeah. A squelch. Oh. Yeah. And the ropes. Everything was in ropes. <gasps> the ropes of his release. The ropes. Ropes. I mean, I have because visualized it's so that. Viscous. Yeah. Because it's so viscous. Yeah. And like so protein yep. mucilaginous Blech. is that a word yes wow that's a good one <laughs> there's mucilaginous in the next book too uh there is wait for it i can't wait yeah <laughs> i can't <laughs> i cannot wait i can't wait to get the text message i'm surprised you didn't text when you read <laughs> it was part- too fat well i was in canada oh my gosh yeah I, were you in public when you were reading no it? it's just like your eyes are so- I just <laughs> were you in public when you were reading it? I just no. think that's hilarious when people are in public reading see like yeah. certain scenes. It would Yeah. Yeah. I heard there was Sarah J. Mass news, wasn't there? Uh yeah. We um Akatar Five was yep. announced. Her next book and is confirmed. gonna be She did a um I tried to actually get on she did a event. Like an online event, and it sold out. I couldn't get in. Mm, I right. tried too late. But some of the people who follow on TikTok went, and so they kind of shared some stuff. But it, it hit the it hit the internet really quickly. But yeah, yeah she was talking about. Um, well, I'm not going to talk about some of it. She confirmed. Mm, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> but she did say she's working on. Okay, I will say this. She said. Um, she wrote Crescent City 3 completely, turned in the first draft, and was like, meh. Nuh-uh. Yeah. She was like, meh. I don't like this. Oh, my Scrap God. It to start over. <gasps> so she said she then, like, hyperfixated, focused, and wrote a House of Flame and Shadow in five weeks. And wow. some of the scenes, but she said she really found the story the second time. She really loves the story. She said her editor said that when she turned in the first draft of the second writing, that her editor was like, now that's a Sarah J. Mass book. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. nauseous. I feel nauseated. I feel, I feel yeah. Um, and she did say she was really, really deep into writing Actar 5 now, which we might get. I don't think we'll get next year. We'll probably get mm-hmm. it in 2025. Did she say that was Elaine's book? No, she has not said anything see, like that. Megan, see, Megan said that it was Elaine's book. She confirmed it's Elaine's book. I was like, what? I don't know if that's confirmed, but it's definitely <laughs> I think she made it up. It's definitely the. I mean, it probably is Elaine's book. You know, it would be really, really funny if Elaine's book was like Morning Glory Milking Farm. I, it was just really, really cozy. Yeah. Oh, well, my God. I mean, 
<laughs> what if it was? I feel like she's at a point where she's challenging herself more anyways. Mm. So, well, and because the way that she, there was all this, spoilers, spoilers alert for Crescent City 3, or Crescent City in general. But there was a lot of, are you okay? Can yeah, I? that's fine. Okay. There was a lot of speculation that Bryce and Hunt are not mates. Because their relationships, their intensity, there are a lot of... People are trying to figure out Sarah's clues, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like, Hunt and Bryce are not mates. Because Bryce and Hunt... Well, Hunt's basically the guy from the beginning. And people are like, that's not how Sarah writes. Which it's not. And, you know? Yeah, but it's okay to change it up. It's never the first guy. And she said she did that. She was like, I'm going to surprise people, and um, Hunt and Bryce are mates. I'm like, can you have more than one mate? Maybe. She didn't say that, but I'm mm. saying that. But also, I think that there has always been this um, theme of free will and, like, choice. And we've started seeing that questioned a lot with Elaine and Lucian and Azrael mm-hmm. and Gwen and, like, all these characters. And I really think that, like, her, all of her books are about having choice. Mm-hmm. And and making choices, mm-hmm. and you love who you want to love, and that's what I was with Bryce and Hunt. Bryce and Hunt wake up every day and choose each other. Yeah. So there's a lot of people like thinking that that's not that they're not mates. Which I I texted Hannah. I was like, I'm I'm actually having a lot of anxiety about this. <laughs> it was when I was in that like super deep dive on the the first two Crescent City books, and I read this one theory about something else and it made me really anxious. Yeah. I got mm. really sad because I was like, this is it. This is what's going to happen. And then I realized, no, it's not. Yeah. I have been a Star Wars fan. I have been a Marvel fan. Like the theories, There's even the so really good, theories. well thought yeah. out theories are never right. They're never right. So I don't need to worry or stress. And it really actually pulled me out and made me go, you need to read some different books and maybe walk Try outside this. and take your shoes off <laughs> and go ground yeah, and meet grass. some people outside because mm-hmm. you are I was so deep in this universe that I was like having feelings mm-hmm. about one fucking rice being made. <laughs> Anyways. And then my child says, I just really want to stand in the middle of the light and the dark so that the day is on one side and the night is on the other. And we had just had this. It's we call her Baby Bryce because she's her got red hair. Bryce's hair. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Baby Bryce and and Bryce is potentially of the dusk court. Of the dusk oh. court. There might be a. So I called. I called Kate mm. and I said, "Repeat what you just said to me." <laughs> I said, Listen to what Baby Bryce just it's, said. It's prophetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God, Baby Bryce. <laughs> She said, baby Bryce is actual Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I definitely need to get outside my books a little bit. I was like, oh, I'm spiraling. I'm spiraling into them. Well, I've, I've been on some really heavy books. Um, what else are you reading? I'm also reading the new strike book that just came out called The Running Grave. Running Graves. Um, it's the new CB strike book. And it is extremely triggering for me Mm. it is really heavy and i also am watching the morning show yeah that and that's really heavy yeah really triggering and this book has been such a light in my day (laughs) (laughs) a breath of fresh air it's so nice and i really loved reading it this week yeah how about you i'm reading a book by i forget the author's name Pause a moment while I look it up. Okay, it's a series of novellas, but the first one is called um, Our Vitreous Womb by Haldane B. Doyle. And it's a little, it's an indie author who contacted us and asked us to read his oh, book. right. And it's been really interesting because a lot of the book is about like, it's like um, biological science. So it's a lot of like reproductive, like selective gene sort of stuff. And it's really interesting to listen to someone who has probably never read a romance novel in their life write like some romance novel type situations, but without the same contrived romance novel language. 
Hmm. Like he'll use core, but he doesn't mean core like core. He means it like my center or like my yeah, my chest, my like actual core. Uh-huh. And it's just and it, he's actually doing a really good job writing these female characters which i'm pleasantly surprised about so i've been working my way through that cool it's been really it's i didn't know what i was expecting i was happy Mm -hmm. to like read this for this gentleman but i wasn't like oh this is going to be really really good it's just you know you don't know with an indie book if it's going to be it could go either way it could go either way um there's a special edition Red Dawn book coming out November 7th, which might be a fourth wing special edition. A lot of people are like really hyped about it, um, which we are reading next month. We're reading fourth wing and then when Iron Flame comes out, which is going to be really exciting. I'm very excited. I'm super excited. I'm in an appointment and read it. Um, I'm reading a book called – there's a series on Kindle Unlimited called Blood and Steel and there is a – the sequel – it came out called Vow and Ruin, and it's actually really good. I've I'm surprised I haven't seen people talking about it. Mm-hmm. It's really good. The second book's a little bit slower, but I really like the characters. Um, then I'm also starting a book called How Does It Feel, which I've seen people really really love. Apparently, there's some kind of big twist in it. And then I also saw another thing about it that was scathing, like scathingly bad. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to see what happens there. I hate it when people sell me on the twist. Oh, there's going to be a twist. Well, fucking great. Now I'm going to be sitting here waiting for the twist the whole mm-hmm. time. And it's painstakingly <laughs> hard to get through. Yeah. Right. Well, and then I think I'm al- I'm also re-listening to the second Crescent City. And then there's another one in my Audible that I'm listening to. Oh, um, The Dark Window. Have you all seen that? Mm-mm. I'm listening to that one. So there's a book about... Oh, I'd have to look up the title again. But there's a book about a woman that falls in love with her front door. Unhinged, I think it's called Unhinged. Nuh-uh. Yes. It's just like... <laughs> I thought we should read that. The look, <laughs> the look that Kate is giving me. There's a whole genre of ones where people fall in love with like their pillow and their door. and um, Y'all just got me to read this. <laughs> I mean... Uh, Take it, it easy like, on me. Wait a minute. Is I, it like spicy? Yes. Oh. Yes. Interesting. Right. Is the door like mort? Apparently there are <laughs> tentacles. I'm not really sure how it all works. Oh my Morty. god. Morty. Morty. <laughs> Morty saying. the door. It's Wait. an option if we want to okay, go there. But w- it would have to be in March. Yeah. Oh, or maybe you know December. What? Maybe I'll just read it and tell you guys whether I think we should read it. Yeah, I want you to. I'll, I'll reconnaissance. Yeah. yeah, recon that. Recon that door. The door. That knob. romance. Unhinged. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll read anything. Yeah. Clearly. You know, I, <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, I mean, I really will. I'll read anything. I just so. thought it's. This was a fun discussion. I we think we could it have a will... fun discussion about a door too. I think it's I a great it. idea. Then we can have a talk in front of children again about having sex with your front door. Yeah, but like brunch <laughs> style, where no one knows what we're talking about. Yeah, I was very impressed with us. That's I awesome. thought so too because no one was picking up what we were putting down. No, <laughs> I mean, your that man sitting next to me was watching football. I tried to talk to him about. Taylor Swift's boyfriend, and uh, he hated that. <laughs> he fucking hated that. It was the highlight I of the morning. I am so loving I fucking making love it. men furious right I now over this. I fucking love it. I was telling Rachel about it at the table. I was like, okay, Rachel, have you heard of Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift? <laughs> I mean, obviously not, but thank you for like bringing me up to speed. Yeah, this is yeah. making men furious, and it is the funnest thing it's I have so ever participated great. in. I got the guy across the hall from me. I got. Were you like, oh my god? I was like, isn't it so nice that Taylor Swift has brought so much attention to football? Like everyone's watching it now. <laughs> yeah. Like NFL Taylor version. <laughs> like now that she's at the games, like everyone's like, tuning in. I mm. tried to get I tried to get one of my f- male coworkers who really likes football, but he's too sweet and kind. I, he he like doesn't wasn't care. mad about it at all. Yeah. I was like, isn't it kind of wild that like no one had heard of Travis Kelsey before Taylor, Taylor Swift? Swift? 
And he was just like, <laughs> he just laughed yeah. and he knew where I was going with it. Yeah. <laughs> he, I, I tried that on John and he, he was, was like, uh, I don't care what you're talking he said, about. Yeah, it's a dying sport. <laughs> <laughs> But like it, most guys I, well, are like, <laughs> yeah. Well, and I, I'm so excited. Like I'm not a Swifty. I don't know every Taylor Swift song. I don't know. I I like I some of her music. I kind of feel left out because her uh, the Eras tour looks amazing, and I've heard that it's one of the best like shows and performances that's ever existed. It's also changing economies. Yeah. It is literally like mm-hmm. a Super Bowl. The amount of money it's bringing in is like a Super Bowl and she does it like five times a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like she is changing the world. Um, And I also like her because she's politically conscious and, you know, she cares and pays people and for now does a really great job and is really supporting women and the way she, you know, does things. I'm really, I, really, I love that. And I don't like football, but <laughs> there is something about watching these two really famous people in these different professions come together that feels so much like a romance book. He is a book boyfriend. Yeah. He has Cassian energy mm-hmm. all day, every yes, day. Yes, he does. He is charming and funny. And like, and she has Nesta energy, actually. I mean, she, in her reputation era, Ooh. she was Nesta. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Rachel's, Rachel's like, yeah. I have listened uh-huh. to a Taylor Swift I song. I have heard yeah. her I, sing. I know who she <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. Well, in all honesty, I think that Aileen Galathinius looks like Taylor Swift in mm-hmm. my brain a little bit. Yeah. Um, But I had, when she, <laughs> the last time she broke up with that other measly dude she was dating, I thought, Taylor needs a resand or she like why hasn't she you know maybe her next man i just want good th- i just want everyone to have love yeah and i want her I famous ass to, i just want her famous rich ass to find somebody great yeah <laughs> and this guy seems pretty nice yeah so apparently he's got some small talent on the football field i wouldn't know oh i thought you were gonna say something else and i was like i Some guarantee small. you that shit ain't small no 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 no. i i can see no. why your and brain he, would go there i was not i was like no he is six five babe yeah six no. five no way small uh, but he makes her feel small she's only five ten and he makes her feel small i'm gonna tell you something when we're off air <laughs> is it about a dick size yep of a very tall guy yep That was surprisingly small? Yep. Damn. Context. (laughs) You didn't have to say it. So glad I waited till we were done. (laughs) You didn't talk about it. You just confirmed the subject that will be discussed. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, since we stopped talking about the book a while ago. (laughs) Bye, friends. Bye. Bye. If you know what I mean, are you happy to see us? Or is that a dagger? It's feast, sheep, shadow.